Shit! I gotta get this off my head. I gotta get this off my head. Oh my god! Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Get 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 off! I love this game. All right. Hello, everyone. This is my first commentary attempt at saw the video game. I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to do this precisely because in this particular video there's a lot of a lot of uh, cutscene, story, important information, that kind of stuff. So I don't know how I'm going to do the commentary and kind of stop myself and and, uh, and then pick up the storyline or whatever. But basically, all right, I guess I'll do an intro to this game. Some things you need to know. If you don't like the movie Saw, you're not going to like this game. If you don't like puzzle-based survival horror games, you're not going to like this game. If you like games with a lot of action and smooth combat, you're not going to like this game. If those things are not terribly important to you, and you like old-school survival horror games like Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill 3, games that are more based around puzzles and atmosphere, this game may be something up your alley, and I would definitely suggest trying it. I'm going to take a little break here, and I believe there's an, a, a, a little cutscene coming up. No. No? Okay, never mind. Uh, no, the, the, the storyline for this game takes place between the Saw movies. It takes place between Saw 1 and Saw 2. Uh... Basically, what happened at the end of Saw One? If you have, s if you haven't seen the movie, mute it now because I'm going to give you a little spoiler. If you have seen the movie, it's all right. Uh, Detective Tap, who's played by Danny Glover, gets shot, and everybody assumes that he's dead. Anyway, uh, this game takes between Saw 1 and Saw 2. At the end of Saw 1, Dan Danny Glover's character, Detective Tap, gets shot. It is assumed that he dies. Uh, but in this game you can see that he is revived by Jigsaw. And he has his own set of games he has to play through. Uh, it is a pretty, pretty fun game. The, at the start of the game, the puzzles are very simplistic. But near the midpoint of the game, they get 
rather difficult. Uh, almost at the level of Silent Hill puzzles. Now this, first of all, this game is made by uh, Konami, which is the maker of Silent Hill. And, uh, so they use the Homecoming engine in this game, so if the visuals look somewhat familiar, that's why. Uh, I just recently, st I, I bought this game new in October of 2009 when it first came out and I got to about the halfway point and I got stuck on one trap in particular. I tried for days trying to get past this trap and couldn't get it. I just recently started replaying the game. A couple hours into trying this trap I got it and so now I'm uh, past where I was. Alright, so you can see here I flipped my lighter on there are three types of illumination devices you can pick up. There is the lighter, which is like a Zippo lighter with like infinite butane, so it keeps lighting. Uh, that lights the entire area around you, but it doesn't have a very big range, as you can see. There's also the flashlight, which has a much longer range, but is a much tighter area that illuminates. And finally, it's the camera. And the camera only illuminates at the flash. Pwned down. <laughs> uh, the camera only illuminates when you hit the flash, so it's kind of like a a bright flash. You see for a, for a long way, and you can see everything. But I don't like the camera because it it leaves like a a, sh a shadow image uh, on your screen. So I usually use the flashlight or the lighter. And I think right now I'm playing with flashlight. Well where I am in the game, not necessarily where I'm in this video. Where I'm in the game, I'm playing with a flashlight. Uh, I know they did not get Danny Glover, Danny Glover for the voice of Detective Tap, but I'm pretty sure they got Tobin... Uh, crap, I can't remember his last name. The guy who plays Jigsaw. They have his voice. I'm pretty sure it's his voice. Ah! Yeah, Jigsaw is like a boss in this game. You have to actually have to fight him at some point. I haven't gotten to that point in the game yet, but I'm dreading it. So I'm, I'm, I just came up the ladder. Uh, you can have these case files around to tell you about the uh, the asylum you're in back in 1800s. And they also tell you about like the Jigsaw case, like case files that like they, they're taken from the police department and stuff. Alright, this is the the first trap room. Uh, that's actually Amanda from Saw 1 and Saw 2. Uh, Shawnee Smith's character, who she's very hot by the way. If you haven't, don't know who, look, at, look her up on Google. She's, I think she's pretty hot. I'm going to stop here when I pick up this uh, tape. Search the body first. Pick up the other tape. Oh yeah, it's getting real. Now I know I'm doing commentary over some of the the voiceover, like the cutscene parts. What I'm going to recommend is that you watch it in 720p resolution. Hopefully the text will be readable. Uh, I can't make promises, I don't know what it's going to be like. If this is a problem, I could I will I will I have no problems re-commentating it, or all the cutscenes, or without you know without without me talking. This is, I believe, the first of five or six. Uh, this is the very beginning of the game. Uh, I have the rest will be later in the game, at about the midpoint to maybe slightly past midpoint. I don't want to spoil too much of the story, but I think that's just kind of the fact that I'm doing a let's play. Some of the story is going to get spoiled as I completely pwn that guy with the, that pipe. Watch this. Pwned! Pwned! Alright. 
I'm going to sign off now. Happy fragging and enjoy the videos.